summer is in full blossom now and I'm working on some paintings inspired by flowers, summer breeze, new beginnings and this flowerly moodiness, I would say. If you saw my last video, I started to paint this painting that I called Modern Fairy Tale 3. Uh, that is because it's the third one with that name but I actually went through some pretty big life changes while I was painting this painting and the name just didn't suit this painting anymore so I have decided to call this painting the hippie house if you didn't saw my last video where I explained where the inspiration came from for this painting I actually went for a walk one day um, I think in late April or something like that and I saw this garage um, below the house and I I just saw something in it took a photo and then I painted it like it was the whole house so yeah uh, I had really loose references for this one but I'm happy I did it I love this painting while I was going through some pretty big life changes I realized that it's okay if I change and that life is unpredictable and we often try to put ourselves and our art in a box because it's safe in a box but actually in the box there is also rigidity and not allowing life to flow and it's just not enjoyable after some time anymore so there is a lot in life that i can experience and yeah i decided that if i feel like changing my mind ideas or life that's okay and that i don't usually have to stay in a place that i don't like when I finished this painting, before I took the tape off, I actually uh, sprayed it with acrylic varnish. I spray all my paintings with varnish because uh, it sets the color down and protects it for years to come for the colors to stay vibrant and true. And this is the final painting. This other painting I also started in my last video. It is called Ataraxia and it represents a state of peace and quiet and stillness. And it's really inspired by the beauty that this summer brought to me. The beauty I acknowledged this summer, I should say. It also represents this kind of place of stillness where she's just connected with herself and present and yeah she's in her own body i want it to be really fantasy like and really kind of surreal so i didn't use exact uh, reference photos for it uh, I just wanted this sky to be really vibrant orange and purple-ish and for her hair in the end to really stand out in this calm, peaceful blueness. By the way, I am going through a blue phase. I really, really want to paint blue things. And so that's why the hippie house that you saw earlier is blue and this girl's hair is also blue. And I think I'm gonna continue with this blue face for a while before moving on. So stay tuned if you like blue. I want 
wanted to insert this clip of the bee that got stuck with her head in the flower. I just thought it was hilarious and me and my partner saved her. Actually he saved her, I filmed it because I just thought this will be a perfect interlude for this video. Uh, it's just kind of this summery vibe, but this bee, yeah, it was really hardly stuck in the flower. I didn't know actually that bees can get stuck in the flowers. So I'm not going to spoil it. You will see what happens in the end. and she flew away <laughs> I think she will think twice before going in another flower of that kind again I came home and I had to package a few orders thank you to everyone who orders from my shop by the way but this time an important thing happened and my painting Cottage Iden was sold to Olivia so thank you very much Olivia if you're watching that uh, and I believe this painting has a great home now here are just some stickers I like to include uh, in my orders and a thank you note and yes sending original painting away is always a bittersweet moment and i always like to watch it a little bit longer before i put it in a box yeah it's hard to uh to send it first of all because i really i think artists in general really got get attached to their paintings because Paintings are kind of a part of us and also something can go wrong in shipping. It never happened to me yet. I hope it will not. But yeah, it's really a little bit an intimidating to send something like this uh, with a postal service across the ocean. But I believe it's gonna be okay. And I like to also include a custom thank you note just so it's a little bit more personal when someone gets my original painting. I am really so grateful always when I'm sending my art out in the world. It's such a humble experience. It's, it's yeah, I can't re really describe it, but it's so nice to make something and then let it go into the world to someone who will cherish it. If you also want to check out my Etsy shop, you can, the link is down below in the description box. I sell all kinds of things that I personally make with my heart, including stickers, prints and originals. So yeah, if you can, check it out. If you can't, no worries. I will continue painting Ataraxia and my other painting that I am currently making, it's a portrait also, it's called Awakening. And yeah, I will show you where I'm at with that in my next video. 
but there is yet a long way for those paintings to be finished uh, and yeah I'm gonna finish Ataraxia soon and I encourage you to not resist life to not put yourself in a box to allow yourself to change and if life gives you lemons make a lemonade don't force yourself to stay in a situation or in a ar artistic situation or life situation that don't serve you anymore, that doesn't bring you joy, that doesn't bring you satisfaction. Always be open to find something that is more suitable for you, that is a better expression of yourself and yeah, never stop trying. That is my biggest advice to you and to myself. And yeah, you can check out my Etsy shop, as I said before, you can check out my Instagram where I share my works in progress and behind the scenes studio. You can subscribe to this channel if you like this video. There are a lot more coming and until next time, have some lovely summer days and allow yourself to be you. Happy arting. Bye.